When nothing in life matters, when really important things can pass through you so imperceptibly, I never thought that the most interesting thing in my life could begin with a fall. Deep fall. Falling is not difficult. One step and you're flying. Whether you rise or fall is the whim of that most capricious lady, Lady Luck. I thought maybe we became friends after the accident. Or perhaps I was just lying to myself. Tessa's death unsettled me. I didn't know what to do and where to go. We were inseparable friends from back in school. One stormy night, one missing roadside, one chasm, and the result? Two victims, me and Tess. Sirens wail and the fence that was set up after Tess's death. It was impossible to stop me. The people who were chasing after me wanted to help me, but their wish to save was weaker than my wish to die. And I won. And now I am here in the world of dead. I am writing this down and in case I don't make it out of here. I want to leave something about myself, and perhaps to help someone else that may follow and will read it. 
The knowledge, which I'll put in this journal, is superficial, but is forbidden, and you can be punished for it by supreme measure here. My appearance here is a mystery for me. I came here in a way unlike anybody else. Usually, people sail here on boats. There are dead who died on the earth and reborn in their guise here. Everything is absolutely identical. Sex, age, and other characteristics. But one of the few differences from earthly life is the laws by which a body lives. Connection on the earth, but here it is felt immediately, much the same way as our nervous system activates when we feel pain, and it hurts because our souls are not clean. All of the newcomer dead are disfigured by corruption. Their bodies are corrupted as strongly as their souls are sick. <laughs> <laughs> 